The unit we have in here today is MEC 2402. It's called Design Methods. It's a second year unit, uh, which is core for MEC Aero and Mechatronic students, and it's their first opportunity to learn about the design process. So we've been really lucky with the new Woodside Design and Build studios in the building. And um, we've got access to some amazing um, PCs for computer-aided design, finite element analysis and modeling. Uh, we're also doing a lot of 3D scanning, which has been a new technology that we haven't had access to before. The students have also been given 3D printers and they've actually assembled the 3D printers and then are running them for their design prototyping. So they're learning all the ins and outs of, of how to um, do additive manufacturing. And we've chosen a project that complements these new resources and also one that allows our remote students overseas to participate. For all of our teams, we actually have a mix of on-campus and remote students, and they're interacting via some of the new technology that we have in these spaces, including using Zoom to be able to meet. And we've also supplemented that with uh, the display screens that you can see in the space that are also fitted out with webcams. So every week the teams come in and they'll have a meeting um, with their remote students and they'll be able to talk through their tasks, they'll be able to see the rapid prototyping that's been occurring and they'll be able to share their ideas and um, yeah, progress their designs. So sewing machines is something that we found that people could commonly get access to even when they're overseas. Um, so by choosing the project that we have, which is uh, designing and building an N95 or P2 face mask with removable filters, uh, this allows our remote students to participate fully in that prototyping. So we've challenged our student teams to come up with two different design concepts for their P2 or N95 masks. One of those concepts wants to be primarily textiles based and so this will challenge them to use the new technologies which we've got including the sewing machines, embroiderer, overlocker, etc. We're also asking them to present a concept that is primarily non-textiles. So we've got some other new facilities like a vacuum former, which allows them to create some tools and then they can mold plastics into um, very ergonomic, um, comfortable shapes that people can wear on their face and then hold the, the filter elements in those shapes. So we want two concepts and we're gonna assess both of them. And we're looking for some really novel and creative um, and innovative solutions to come out the end that might even be good for market. The assessment process we're running through today, what we're doing is we're looking at the aesthetics of the mask. We're looking at how easy is it to apply a filter? How easy is it to remove the filter? Can you intuitively work that out? How does it look? How does it feel? How have the students built this mask? Is it going to be quality? Before we move in and we do it a hood test. This is actually part of the P2 process for certification in Australia and it is a genuine test so that students have a real feel of what happens as testing in industry. The quality of the assessment today has been really fantastic. A lot of the designs that the students have been coming up with have been quite novel. We do have a couple of teams who've come up with a clear variant of a mask which could be really useful in situations of teaching, in situations of communicating with people who perhaps may not have good understanding without a lot of facial expressions. We have seen students who have done more than three or four prototypes to really put together a quality product that could be presented to an industry partner. So it's been really exciting sitting in this space watching what the students are coming up with.